Welcome students to this week's Spelling Netcast. Please make sure that you're prepared, you're ready to go. Make sure you have your scissors to cut your word chips out. Make sure you have a pencil to write with, glue stick to glue in your heading. Of course your journal to work in. And, and your Ziploc bag to put your word chips in when you're done. Alright, let's take a look at this week's words. Sort 5, adding ED to words. Last week, students, you were adding ing to words. This week, we're adding ed. Here are your words. Let's begin. Let's start cutting them out. Go. We need to add our heading. So let's go ahead and run a bead across your, your heading. And let's go ahead and glue that at the top. This helps us keep organized. Helps us keep, keep us on track. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our exemplars for this week. Let's go ahead and start with double. Now, as you remember from last week, the double represented a double consonant, right? Go ahead and go into our next exemplar, which is the E drop. And like last week, we are getting rid of the E and adding either ING or ED. Last week it was ING, this week it is ED. And then we have our nothing. And then we have our oddball. Let's put this one over on the side this time. And if there are a couple, then you can put them right here. We'll just put them up on top this time. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at our our words and let's go ahead and see if we can't figure out what's going on. All right. Let's take a look at at this word. The word is hoped. Hoped. What's the base word? What is the base word? Let's go ahead and write the base word. The base word is hope. When we like last week we were dropping the e and adding ing. And ing means in the act of. If you remember, we talked about that. ing means in the act of. Like, in the act of, of hoping. So we drop the, the e and add ing. But in this case, we're dropping the e and we're going to add ed, which is the past tense. So we're going to add e. D. Okay. We have to drop the E because if not, I'll do this lightly, we would have hoped. And that doesn't look right, does it? We don't have EED. That's not correct. So we have to drop the E and then we're going to add ED. Interesting, huh? Okay. Let's take a look at this word. This word is joined. What's the base word? Again, we're asking ourselves, what is the base word first? You guys have to recognize what the base word is. The base word is join. J-O-I-N. The word is what? Join. Say the word. Excellent. Okay. So now, we're going to be adding E-D again to all of our words. So when we add E-D, we don't see an E, do we? So we're not dropping the E and adding ED, so we're just going to add ED. We're not adding anything, are we? We're not adding anything, and we don't have a double consonant like we'll probably see here in a second. So we're just adding the ING like last week or this week, we're adding ED, which means past tense, the past tense of something. They joined the club last week. It happened in the past. 
hoped. He hoped the team would win. Again, past tense. ED is past tense. So let's go ahead and maybe draw a line over here and write that. ED equals past tense. Happened in the past. All right, let's take a look, look at our last word. And this one is hopped. Okay. What is the base word? Hop. All right, and this one, um, we see two Ps. All right. So in this case, we had to add an extra P and then the ED. So that's where the double comes in. All right. Once again, how did that, that P get there? Well, we had to add it, and then we add the ED as well. Okay, and the double is a consonant. Those are consonants. All right, let's do, let's do a couple more so you can get the feel of it. All right, we have knotted. Okay, and as you can see, we have the double, the double consonant. The base word must be nod, but when we add ed, we have to add an extra d, the same consonant, and then the past tense ed. Okay, let's take a look at shouted. Shouted. We don't see the double consonant, do we? The base word is shout. And so we're just adding ed. So we're not adding we're not adding an extra consonant like we are with the double. We're not doing that. So we're adding nothing. Here we're adding a double consonant. All right. Okay. And let's go ahead and do one more. Let's sneak in an e drop word like named. What's the base word? name, All right, but to make it past tense, we have to get rid of this E, and then we're going to add ED, which makes it past tense, like they named their, their baby boy Billy. They named their child, again, it's past tense, it happened many years ago. All right, okay, let's go back through it real quick. You're going to recognize that some words have double consonants, right? So in order for that to happen, we had to add the consonant and then add ed to go with it. And with the nothing, we're just simply adding ed. We're just simply adding ed. There's, we don't see any double consonants before the ed. And again, ed means past tense. And then on the e drop, we have to get rid of the e like in hope or name and then we add ed to the end. Again, all of these are past tense. All right, students, it is time for you to go ahead and finish before I let you go and you take off on this great adventure. There are a couple oddball words, so let's see if you can figure those out. When you're finished, students, um, make sure that your word chips go back in the Ziploc bag for safekeeping because you'll be doing land saves each night and some speed sorts and on Wednesday evening you'll be doing your blind sort so you'll need to give this to your parents so they can pull out the words and then you can find where they go on your paper. Again that's kind of a practice test to get you ready for the test on Thursday. Remember we are doing this to become better spellers, readers, and also writers so do your best. Get her done. Be prepared. See you soon. Bye.